Hello everyone, we will continue the topic, what is the solution or alternative to display the data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And as a part of that, we created a ALV program. We are displaying the output of employees in the form of ALV grid. Now what we will do for this feedback column, we will create a hotspot, hotspot or hyperlink. Whenever user will click onto that hyperlink, it will call a screen and in that screen, we will display the full feedback of that particular employee. So how we can achieve? Firstly, we need to display this column in the form of hyperlink or in the form of hotspot. So we already have a property hotspot. We will put it to capital X. So you can check from here itself. I will not touch this session. We'll go through that table type cell. Sorry, I clicked on to wrong function module. I will go for same to same, reuse ALV field catalog merge. This is our table type. Table type has this structure type. It has nested structure type. It has again nested structure type. We will see. Do we have a hotspot? Here we do not. I will go for next one. Here also, we do not have hotspot. I will go for next. This is our next. Yes, we have hotspot. So I will simply, simply put it to capital X. You all know whenever you want to enable some property, or you want to do something, you have to put to capital X. LWA underscore field cat hyphen hotspot is equal to capital X. I will activate the program. I will run this program. And you can see the last column is coming in the form of hyperlink or how as you can say hotspot whenever we will click on to this hotspot we will call a screen and in that screen we will display the complete feedback of that particular employee and you all know whenever you are clicking on to this hotspot but which what will call the user command will call if you remember when we created the button in the application toolbar, when we did hotspot, every time user is performing some action. So what will call the user command will call. So what we will do, I will go for same to same process. Anyways, we are not going for PF status because we are not creating our own functions. I will not create our own GUI status. Because we are not creating a our own buttons. If you have a functionality that you want to see the full feedback on a particular button, then you can create your own GUI status also. But as of now, we are displaying the feedback on the hotspot. So we will not go for our own GUI status. So I will go for directly user command. Now, I will simply, simply uncomment this parameter for the user command. I will give some name in front of this user command. Suppose I am saying user underscore command. You all know very well. Now we need to create a subroutine with this particular name. But how, how we can get that? Firstly, we will search how SAP did that and then we will go in the same way. 
Now, what is the best way? It's just, it is already explained in the ALB playlist. You can refer the videos of ALB. Suppose I'm copying this parameter I underscore callback PF status set. Now, many people will think we are not creating our own GUI status. Then why you are taking this particular parameter? Just we are just we want to check how SAP did that. So it will be easy for us to do the navigation. Anyways, we will not create anything. Yes, we will not create GUI status. It will directly navigate us to our target. I will double click on to this function module. I will go to find button. I will put this parameter I underscore callback PF status set. I will double click on to reuse ALB list display function module. Reuse ALB grid display is calling this list display function module. I will double click. I will find same to same thing. I underscore callback PF status set. Do not forget to choose the radio button in master program or in main program. I'll put enter. I will just scroll down. Now I will double click on to this function module. And you can see in front of I underscore callback user command, SAP has given this name. I will do control F. Now SAP has created a subroutine with this name. So I did this so that we can copy this. And if I will go through this PF status set parameter, it is easy to navigate. So that's why I took that just for the navigation purpose. Now I will copy paste in our program. Now I will write. Okay, I'll just remove this. When I did the practice, I put this, I'll put it from again. For every form, there is a end form. Now you can see what is our name? User underscore command. I saw so many people, they will give the space here. They will not put same to same name. So in that case, it will not trigger. You need to give same to same name which you gave and never give the spaces. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. Now I will simply, simply put a breakpoint here and we will see is this subroutine is triggering or not. It will not trigger, then we will see how we can go for that particular triggering. Suppose I am giving employee ID 1 to 5. I am clicking on to this. I am doing a user command. So user command should trigger, but it is not triggering. And why it is not triggering? Many people can easily, easily answer yes. We need to provide the program. Program is it. I put so much stress when I covered this topic during ALV. When I covered the topic ALV, I put so much stress. You need to give the program name. And you all know what is the system variable for the program ID, report ID, or you can say program name or report name, SIREP ID, system variable. Now I will simply, simply run and show you. Now it will trigger. I will simply execute. Now whenever I am clicking onto this hotspot, you can see a BAP debug is started. It means my subroutine for the user command is calling. You can see breakpoint stopped here. Now this user command subroutine is calling. Now, what is our target? Whenever user will click on to that hyperlink, we will call a screen 
in that screen, we will simply, simply display the feedback, whatever the full feedback is there for that particular employee. Now, in the next video, we will create a screen. And yes, you can go for model dialog box screen, normal screen. That is totally, totally your wish. In the next video, we will create a screen. And in that screen, we will learn how to display the particular feedback in extremely important learning. So that's it in this video. Thank you.